as you go up the floors in your building, you will reach a floor where your language shifts from within. So instead of talking to yourself like this, I wonder what the purpose of my life is and where's my comeuppance and where's my justice. You take the word my out because you have to shift your vocabulary to get up with each level. You have to introduce words and you have to expel certain words. You have to get rid of the word blame, deserve, entitled, and my. When you get to that place where you can release those toxic words, then you ask this question, what is the purpose of life? Not my life, life. What am I doing here? What, what is my capacity as a human being to make a difference in this world? How? Not a difference for those people, these people. Not so I can lessen the, the quality of life for those people and increase the quality for these people. I have to serve life because as you emerge, I want you to turn to your body for a moment, to your bio-spiritual ecology that is your physical body. And here, you learn that your body operates on the laws of holism, on the laws of holism. What is in one is in the whole. The laws of holism. They govern your health. They govern your health. And you know that. You know that if a doctor said to you, you know what, you're not feeling well and, and, and I know it, so I have this medicine here and it's gonna blow out your kidneys, but you can have a kidney transplant, but it's gonna make your heart feel better and it may cost you kidney, but you got two, so what the heck, what do you think? Anybody with an ounce of common sense would walk away from that and say, I want to treat my whole self. You are a micro earth, a micro earth. As you conduct yourself in your earth, around your earth, with you, and the power that you have to generate what you create, co-creation, to generate your choices, that is what you create. That is like a cell in your body contributing to the whole cell. And you know one rogue cell can bring you down because it can, just, it can shift to cancer. So one rogue cell has the power to bring down the whole. And healing one cell has the power to enhance the whole. So don't underestimate your role in the whole of what's happening. That too is unthinkable. You can't even imagine you have that kind of power, but you do, but you do. Learning to access and, and ascend these levels shifts your capacity to engage with the whole of life because you, this, is the job, this is the job of consciousness, to in, go beyond the boundaries of the address where you were born and the package you came in and begin to include what's the history of what's happening here. On the first floor, all you see is what happened because you're looking out one window. But consciousness requires that you expand and become conscious of how did this happen? Where did it begin? What? And then you realize all pain this is the explosion of pain. This is the explosion of people feeling unjust. This is the explosion of people feeling the need to protect from a Holocaust of years ago. Someone could say, this has no resolution. I mean, where are you going to go with this? And that too is unthinkable. This is where we must, we have to start thinking the unthinkable. Here's another thing that's unthinkable. Do you know that we, we've entered a galactic community? There's an office now in Washington, D.C. that's preparing to release all the, so much of its documentation and findings and films proving that there's life in other galaxies and that further that life has been in contact with us and further, further, that the messages of these beings from other planets are, are galactic friends 
have been two consistent messages reported by people all over the world. One, get your act together when it comes to your ecology, your climate. You're killing yourselves with the way you treat the climate. And two, drop the nuclear weapon stuff. Stop killing each other. You know what? The Pentagon found this so awful. They went to Hollywood and they said, we need some movies here that show, you know, extraterrestrials invading the earth and destroying it so that people have a hostile sense about the Federation that's out there. It is unthinkable that we can become a planetary community. But we've crossed the Rubicon and we've entered the age of holism. Look at your body. Your body has entered the age of holism. Thinking in fractured thoughts, thinking in fractured emotions, doesn't is exactly what fractures you. And in turn, we pass that on to others. You know what? I'm going to do. I'm going to do a class on escorting you up the floors of your building so that you can have a sense of how to utilize the consciousness that is inside of you, of what the world looks like as you ascend, what you need to dispel, what you need to include. We'll do that. I'll let you know when. I'll create this class and put it online. But in the meantime, here's what's unthinkable that you can affect what's happening in the world by who you are, where you are. Yes, you can. And of course, you've heard me say it a thousand million times, turn to prayer. I don't care. I'm so not into religion, but I am into. There is no such thing as a God who has a religion. Human beings have religions, and look where it gets us. There's only one source. The divine is light. The divine is love and the divine is law. That's the nature of the cosmos. It is impersonal and totally intimate. And every prayer is heard. And so we pray that we can become a species capable of thinking the unthinkable. We could find resolutions to problems where yesterday we would decide, my only way through this is to kill you. Well, maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. Maybe somehow it's unthinkable. But we can think about some way to coexist. You have children. I have children. I love my children. You love your children. Right there, we have grounds for humanity. Right there. Hover over us all, God, because this moment in time is truly unthinkable. Where it can lead and also the possibilities of what could emerge if we make light-filled choices. Thank you.